Low-priced Android tablets like Tesco's Huddle are great for all sorts of serious or playful uses, but what happens if you can't get a Wi-Fi signal? Normally built-in 3G mobile internet access is only available on more expensive tablets, but these days there is usually a simple way around this. If you have virtually any Android phone or iPhone, you can use that as a Wi-Fi hotspot and tether pretty well any tablet to it. It's very easy to do, as we'll see in a minute. This means you can buy a cheaper tablet like a Huddle and still have 3G connection. And adding more mobile internet to your mobile phone package will usually be cheaper than setting up a tablet-only 3G contract. It also means upgrading to 4G will only involve one device. But some warnings. This won't work if you don't have a mobile internet package. Well, that's pretty obvious. Also, watch you don't go over your data limit. Normal internet browsing doesn't use much data, but a movie download, for instance, might use up to one gigabyte per hour. So going over your data limit could cost you dearly. In fact, some mobile network providers may even put a block on tethering so that this doesn't happen. This is to stop you, or even someone else, using your phone and racking up huge bills. Just phone your provider up and ask them to remove the block. Another point, using your mobile phone to download stuff as well acting as a Wi-Fi hotspot uses a lot of battery power. So for long sessions, it's a good idea to plug your phone into its charger. So how do we set this up? Well, in this example, we're using an Android phone with a Jelly Bean operating system. Tens of millions of phones have this, so there's a good chance yours will as well. Google say you can connect up to eight different devices with one Android phone hotspot, if you can afford the phone bill, that is. So go to settings on your phone and choose more. On the next page, choose tethering and portable hotspot. Now choose portable Wi-Fi hotspot and a tick should appear in the checkbox. Next, you'll need to set up an ID and a password. This may appear either as configure portable Wi-Fi hotspot or portable Wi-Fi hotspot settings. Now set up the ID. This is what you'll see when your Huddle scans for Wi-Fi hotspots. But since all other devices nearby can also see it, you need a password as well. So select WPA2PSK in the security drop-down menu. And then add a password of at least eight characters and make it a good one. Your hotspot might be seen by lots of people who will happily let you pay for their internet use. Now you can save those details. In the top bar of your phone, you should see the Wi-Fi hotspot symbol. Now for your huddle. Make sure Wi-Fi is turned on and then go to settings and choose the Wi-Fi heading. You should now see a list with your new hotspot in it. Choose it and then enter the hotspot password you just created and that's it. Your tablet will now be tethered and receiving the internet through your phone. To turn the hotspot off, simply go back to portable Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone and uncheck the box. And from now on, whenever you want mobile internet access, simply check this hotspot box on your phone, connect to it through the Wi-Fi list on your huddle and it's done. But to repeat, just watch that data. If in doubt, set a limit on your phone through settings and data usage. You may miss the end of a good video when your phone switches off, but at least you won't have to sell your tablet to pay for your phone bill. And that's it. Pretty simple, really. If you'd like to know more about some of the excellent features of Tesco's Huddle tablet, why don't you check out our other video on it? In the meantime, thanks for watching.